everyone, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art and welcome back to Drawsome. So for today's Drawsome prompt, I am drawing two little piglets because um, the prompt is pigs and I'm going to be using my Art Graph graphite blocks. Uh, I just picked up the um, three primary colours and I already had the earth tone so I thought it would be fun to see if I could do a little animal scene. So yeah, I'm just drawing the outlines of these two little piglets in now. So this little one at the front's got his little ears forward and the one behind sitting up straight with his ears up. So I get all the details where I want them. Pop his little legs in facing the front, come around, draw his little back legs, pop his patches in where he's going to have his little patches. And a little bit of eye detail. And then I'm going in, I mixed a bit of red and white to make the pink and I take that around all the pink areas on the piggy's nose. And then I pop a little bit into his ears. I had to take my heads off, headphones off there for a second. I unplugged myself, so I had to plug myself back in again. <laughs> so that's what you just saw in the bottom left-hand corner. And then I decided I needed to make a colour chart because I didn't have one. And you can see just that on the bottom left, uh, right-hand side because the colours do look different to what they do on the blocks just a little bit. They're a bit darker in the in the blocks. So then I start just mixing them as if I'd mix watercolour to make the different colours that I wanted for these little guys. And I start to block in uh, all the darker parts on the piglets. And yeah, these, I just treated them exactly like watercolour. So I mixed them the same. So, you know, the same mixes, uh, red and yellow made orange, red and white made pink. Um... I added blues to the browns to make them darker and things like that. So I had lots of fun just playing and seeing how the colours mixed, how they travelled on the paper. And I'm using uh, Archer's Hot Pressed Watercolour Paper for these. So, um, yeah, and I'm just adding details around the little eyes. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed these. They flow really well. If you, if, uh, if you wet the paper first, it travels just like watercolour. If you go uh, wet on dry, um, as you can see what I did with the fur there, you can get the more detail like normal drawing and you can draw with the tip of your brush. So it's, you know, it's beautiful. It's really a lovely, lovely, lovely medium. So now I start to add layers and they're really good at layering. So I added layers to the different um, browns on this little piglet. Go around the trim of his ears. And I made up a grey for the lighter areas because they've been rolling in the dirt and having a great old time. So the grey, I just used the black and white. And you can see every so often I hold the graphite up to show people what they look like because they just look like those blocks that I just held up. Well, that's them. That's the blocks that I just held up there. So now I start adding the colour to the first little pig. So I add the pink to his little ears and his little nose and anywhere that I can see pink in the in the picture. I got my reference from Unsplash, uh, which is a royalty-free reference site, so you can use any of the photos there for whatever you'd like to use them for. So, yeah, unsplash.com. And also Pixabay is another good one. So you can just see the edge of this little piglet's eye under his ear, but I change my mind after a while and I go over it and block that out again. But I go in with some yellow ochre and then I start to build up the layers with darker colours again and add into the brown areas on this little piglet. You can see there, I sort of just went over the eye again. You can, and yeah, cause you can cover with these. If you make a mistake, you can go over it with a slightly darker tone. So I start to add the texture and different tones of fur around the first little piglet. And then I add some straw in underneath. Then I just do, literally do strokes in all different directions. And I used a bit of yellow ochre and then a little bit of yellow ochre with white mixed in just to make it a little bit paler. And then I made up a purple colour with the red and blue out of the out of the primary colours set. And I used that for the shadows around both of the piglets. And then I start to add the little wrinkly bits in and I deepen up the tones on the first little piglet's ear and add some shadows around again. And I decided I changed the shape of that other piglet's eye. It was a little bit wide. So I narrowed the eye off a little bit. And then I start to darken up around the ear and define the face of the first piglet. And then I add the fur texture with that gray that I made from the black and white around the body of the first little pig. So 
So I add a little bit of gray around the legs, darker around the tummy, and just work around the nose of that first little pig and add a little bit of fur texture, a little bit more fur texture around the legs. Add the little hooves on, the little trotters. And then I get to work adding a little bit more detail. And I wanted to try a background, so I mixed up um, a bit of the blue with a bit of white and a lot of water just to see how it would go with the big wash in the background. And I really, really like the effect. So I continued on and did that blue wash completely around both of the pigs. And then on the darken, I darkened it up on the right hand side. I just add another layer over the top and I treat it exactly like watercolor. You would not think this was graphite. Like it's just so beautiful and it has a real translucent quality to it. Like it's got a real glow, like it just is beautiful. It's really, really beautiful to look at. And with the, the primary colored one, I've got the earth tones one. Yeah, but with the primary color one, it just adds so much more. You can just do so much more with these. I can see them becoming my new favorite medium in, in a really great rush. <laughs> so I continue on, I add the shadows underneath. And then just define a little bit more around the legs and around the chins on both of the piglets. and just start to really put in some finishing touches. And I'm sort of trying to decide where, where I need shadows, where I need darker bits. And so I'm just sort of looking around and slowly building up. So I just add a little bit more around the trotters, make their little toes a bit more defined. Get some more texture around the nostrils, add a few slightly darker tones. But yeah, I highly recommend using these. Uh, give them a try for absolute sure. If you haven't, if you can get hold of, they're called um, Art Graph, graphite blocks. Um, highly recommend them. Had an absolute blast using them. And yeah, uh, I'd love it if you would click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon that way you'll be notified when I release a new video I'm going to be live streaming on YouTube at least three times a week I'm doing every day at the moment because it's world watercolor month and I'm doing a watercolor piece every day um, But after this month, I'll be doing three days a week of live streaming and then um, Time lapses on top of that as well So yeah, I'd love it you click like and subscribe and also I'll have Aurora at Aurora's art world We do this together. Uh, we do this live on Twitch every week um, so I'll have all the links below to the different channels if you would like to follow us there as well that would be awesome I'll have Aurora's link below um, I'd love you to check out her piece and what she's created for today and yeah have an awesome day everyone thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next video okie doke bye